Hey, what are you doing out here? Hmm? Are you gonna play in the snow? Yeah. Are you gonna help Daddy make a video? Hello and welcome to Teal House Farm. Today we're going to talk about five tips to help a beginner be successful with their livestock. I know. My first tip uh, to help you be successful starting out with your livestock is to find a mentor. They're gonna eat my phone. To find a mentor or someone you can talk to or call up or have over to help you with your animals. Through YouTube, we've met a ton of people that we can just text or message or call whenever we have an issue or a problem with the garden or the animals. Uh, getting our goats from Chicka Wolf Ranch was such a blessing for us. They came here for a couple of days. It was, that's my beard. It was nice to have someone here for that first milking. I, I felt like I asked them about a million questions while they were here about the goats. So that was just so helpful. That's my first tip. Have someone, Mommy, Daddy, Mommy, Daddy. <laughs> have someone you can count on to call. They don't have to be somebody local, just someone that you can bounce stuff off of, uh, get you, help get you going a little bit as a beginner with your animals. Tip number two is to do as much research as you can before you get your animals. Figure out what they're going to have to eat, what the care for them is going to look like in the summertime compared to the winter. Um, figure out what kind of breeds there are. Uh, just do as much research. In the, the day and age we live now with smartphones and YouTube, you can have answers at your fingertips in about five seconds. So it's really easy to, to do a lot of research on an animal. Um, books, books are great. There's so many, there's so many books out there for whatever kind of animal um, that you're wanting to start with on your homestead. Uh, make sure to do your research. What, oh, where are you gonna show them? Here, stand back, show the camera something. Where are you gonna show them? Do you like the snow? You love the snow. No one else wanted to come outside with daddy, but Annie does, don't you? You love being outside. Okay, say, can you say tip number three? Get in my feet. That's right, tip number three is to make sure you've got all the, the kind of physical things you need before you get your animals here. Whether it's a coop, uh, whether it's some kind of a shelter, like for our goats, you want to make sure you've got all your feeders, all the waterers. Now, you might not have everything that you're going to need for the, the whole lifespan of a goat. We've got some things that we don't have yet. Uh, for example, once we have kids, uh, baby goats here on the farm. But um, forgetting, forgetting our goats and forgetting our chickens and stuff, we tried to get as much done before they got here and to be as prepared as possible. <laughs> I wanted to film out here. It's just so pretty with the snow falling today. At least I feel like it is. Tip number four. Don't be afraid to fail. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me and the way that I go about this stuff. Is I, I want to get all my ducks in a row and make sure that it's almost perfect before we get animals here. And... Uh, Sometimes I get discouraged because no matter how, how much you try and put stuff together, something's going to happen and go wrong. It almost always does. Farmers and homesteaders that have done this for much longer than we have, we're talking people that have done this for 10, 15, I mean like some of these people have been doing it an entire lifetime, 50, 60, 70 years they're gonna have failures in year number 60. Things are gonna happen that you, you don't foresee, um, but don't let that discourage you. So when I was, I think, 14, 
um, we got our first goats. We got a couple of doe lanes. We brought them home and we had to uh, mix up their, um, I call it formula, but we had to mix up their milk. And the lady that we bought them from gave us the wrong ratio and those doe lanes bloated the next morning like big time. And so the very first day we had goats when I was 14 or 15, I mean, I felt like I screwed up big time. Didn't feel like I, I should be owning goats. Um, but we got them to the vet quickly. They took care of them and uh, I didn't let it discourage me. And, and here we are a number of years later with milk goats and really, really enjoying the experience. Number five, our last tip to help uh, a beginning, uh, someone that's just beginning with their livestock is to just go and do it. Uh, I guess that one kind of goes with number four a little bit and, uh, and to, to not really feel defeated. But uh, once you've done your research, once you feel like you've got, uh, you know, your fencing in place and, and your feeders and uh, just kind of ready to go, jump into it. Don't, don't wait. I mean, you know, you don't want to do something stupid. But uh, just go for it. There's going to be bumps along the way. And, and, you know, you can talk to your mentor or your friends and, and people that you know. They'll help you get through it. But, uh, I, you know, getting, getting the milk goats, getting any kind of a dairy animal here on the farm seemed like a big step. I mean, you have to milk every single day. There are no day off, days off. And I know it's that way with having chickens, too. But uh, it seemed like a big step for us. I kind of wanted this video to be kind of an encouraging thing for people. And I know it's winter, so most people aren't going to start with animals here at the beginning of winter or the ending of fall. But I just want to encourage people. Um, I know you see, you see people on YouTube or, you know, bloggers, things like that people that have made the jump into homesteading and having animals. I just want to encourage other people to do the same. You can do it. Do your best to be prepared and then just go for it. People have been raising animals for a long, long time. All kinds of people. And if they can do it, you can do it too. Okay, so Annie, Luke, and myself, we appreciate you watching this video. Make sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Check out Laura's blog. All those links will be in the description. Come here, Luke. Good boy. All those, Luke, all those links will be in the description. Drop a like on this video. If you haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button. Okay, we'll see ya. I, I think she's going. Say, hey, say, see you later. See you later.